Hey folks, uh, we're gonna be putting some snake skins, which I have right here, on the back of a sinew back three curve bow. I'm doing this live. I've never tried a live video before, so we're gonna see how this thing works. But um, for those of you who follow along with my Instagram, I posted this bow on my Instagram uh, probably two months ago. This is a sinew backed Osage recurve. Um, and I asked people to guess what the weight was gonna be after the sinew cure. And I can't remember what I put on there. I think it was like 52 pounds at 28 before I sinew backed it. Um, and after I put the sinew on there, I just wanted people to guess what the, uh, what the weight was gonna be. And I was really surprised. I put more sinew on this thing uh, than I've ever put before just because I wanted to see what the, uh, the results would be. And so I put an ounce and a half of sinew on each limb and it took the weight from about 52 pounds to well over 70 pounds. I, I, I didn't even get it to full draw because I didn't want to stress the wood more than I needed to. And so, uh, which I can't, I can't even draw a bow that, that heavy. And so what I did was retailer this thing back to 60 pounds at 28 inches. I'm drawing a little over 28. And, um, and so this is gonna be a, a perfect bow for me now. So what we're gonna do, uh, I wanna protect this, uh, this sinew. And so what I did was just take a little bit of tight bond, uh, the same stuff that I use for a lot of my bow uh, building applications. And we're gonna take and glue some snake skins on this thing. And so I went out this morning and found a couple of cotton mouths just in the, in the swamp here, close to home. And so I've already covered how to do a snakeskin backing on a, on a bow on another YouTube video, but I figured what the hell, I'm doing it. Uh, might as well just see what this whole live thing is uh, about on YouTube. So again, tight bond. We're just gonna uh, lay it on here. Now I've already smoothed all this stuff out with sandpaper. And I can't see the comments on there, so if you're talking about my shaved head, then yeah. I didn't like being bald, so I just uh, went all in. All right, throw you a little bead of, of glue on there. Smooth that out. You don't want, you don't want a lot of glue Yes, I did get scalped. I scalped myself. <laughs> you know, I went out, I was in the swamp this morning, and anybody that's not from the south won't know what yellow flies are, but yellow flies are, the, are bastards. And for some reason, they go straight for my head. They're little biting flies. So we're just gonna put a light, uh, a light coat of, of glue on here, and we're gonna take this. These are these are uh, cotton mouth. Find the the head of this thing, and these are fresh skins. These just, I mean, like an hour ago, these things were swimming around in the water. The, uh, the fresh skins, you don't have, you know, they're, they're already rehydrated or they were never dehydrated and they lay really nice on the back of these bows. And so a lot of times when you're using real fresh skins like this, you don't even have to wrap it. You don't have to, to hold them down for anything because they, they naturally want to wrap around the bow like that. And this tight bond, if you're wearing stuff that, pants and stuff that you don't want this stuff on, it does not come out. So if you wipe your hands on your pants, you're just gonna have a stiff glue spot.
So I'm gonna set this out in the sun once I uh, once I get it all glued up, and it's it's really clear and warm today, and so this should be dry within I don't know probably an hour, and I'll be able to trim the sides. I'll show you what that looks like. I might throw something right here just to keep that down around the curve. But here's all the sinew. And one thing you'll notice is the sinew run, it stops right here. It doesn't go through the curve. And so this is a static recurve. And when you're building statics, there's no need to send you the, the, the tips because they're not bending. And so you, I just stop the, uh, stop the sinew before it gets there. like 112% humidity right now and sunny so it's hot I just wrapped up a, uh, a bow building class, had some guys here for five days, built some pretty cool bows, and had um, one fella, Nathan Ryan, came all the way from Australia, which was pretty cool. He's probably just getting back home right now. I think he spent, uh, he said from, from Sydney to LA, like 19 hours in the hand in the air Once you get the snake skin on here, you know, you can you can kind of stretch it out. They don't stretch a lot side to side, but you can really stretch them out to cover a, a pretty long piece of wood. And so if you're a little short, just, just slide it down. Next time I do one of these live videos, I'm going to have somebody read in the comments so I can throw it back at you. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna go set this in the sun now. And 
Might go shave my head again. So I'm gonna go set this in the sun and I'll post some pictures up on Instagram when it's all uh, trimmed up and, and looks nice. See ya.